Hey there, welcome to this introduction to Dixal and Power Factory, which is uh, one of the most powerful tools for analyzing, planning, and optimizing power system. Whether you are an engineer, uh, a student, a researcher, or a power system technician, this software can help you solve some of the most complex challenges in electrical network. So what is Dick Silent Power Factory? Well, simply put, it is a comprehensive solution designed for power system analysis. It enables you to basically model everything from simple radial networks to complex interconnected grids. As you can see here, I've got a nine bus bar network system here and basically making it essential for anyone working in the energy industry using dixal and power factory there are a few types of analysis that can be done on a network system like the one i've got in front of me here now let's just have a look at uh, the few that can be executed so the first one we're going to look at is the load flow uh, analysis this icon here is the one we use to execute or calculate the load flow analysis. This method is basically used to evaluate the power distribution and voltage across the entire network. So when I hit on execute, you can see we've got power flow running through and we've got already the calculated parameters such as voltages and current across the entire NAND bus bus system then we also have got a short circuit analysis that can be executed by hitting this red icon here and that calculations is executed using mostly the iec 6909 standard that have already been defined for us right so once we hit execute for the very simple short circuit analysis here maximum short circuit current for the single phase to ground Okay, so when you click on execute, it will basically execute the short circuit on each one of these bus by here, right? So you will exactly know how much short circuit current will be present on each one of the bus bar. So when I hover in here, we can see that on phase A, I've got about 303 0.7 kilo amps of short circuit current on this bus bar here this external grid is actually defined as the slack bus basically the controlling grid another very important uh, analysis that can be done on our power system network is the dynamic stability analysis to execute the dynamic stability analysis this is the icon that you need to select if it's not available you can choose it on the menu option here so when you go on the dynamic stability analysis, you present it with a number of options. So this analysis is basically to simulate a system response to disturbances like faults or sudden load changes onto your system. So let me leave everything as is and execute. And after the execution, you're going to mostly uh, monitor the different voltage level on each one of these bus bar right you can see this bus bar here bus bar 6 is the most affected because the voltage is dipping to 0 0.93 and you can also observe the line loading and as well as the transformer loading in the stability analysis great other key features of dick silent power factory include the harmonics and power quality analysis which basically study the power quality and minimize the system distortions and you also have the protection coordinations where you can basically design and optimize relay settings to prevent cascading failures and one of power factory's outstanding features is the contingency analysis tools this tool basically allows you to simulate network outages or faults like losing critical transmission lines on your systems and you evaluate different outage levels or scenarios with the n minus one and n minus two please watch my tutorial on contingency analysis in Dixaland, where we basically did an in-depth analysis of contingency analysis 
of a power system network. This uh, scenario basically ensure that under different conditions, your network will remain reliable even under stress. Now let us do a quick practical line outage here. So let's go ahead and run the load flow analysis again here. Now before we experiment with a simple line outage here, let's first observe the data, the variable on this line here. So we've got line 6 to 9, okay, from bus bus 6 to bus bus 9. And we've got this line 4 to 6. And they basically supplied from bus bus 4 here and from bus bus 9, which is basically being supplied by this transformer T3. As you can see, the transformer is already under some serious loading, 131.8% overloaded. Okay, so now if we see here, these bus bus 6 basically is supplying this load 6 here, which is a 93 megawatt load. So we've got about 93 megawatt of power that need to flow to load 6 here. So where is it coming from? Now we can see here there is a 21 megawatt that is coming from line 4 to 6. And on this line here, we've got about 72 megawatt. So Combine that's giving the 93 megawatt that's going to load six here. Now, if we put line six to nine out of service, that basically will mean to continue to supply 93 megawatt, there must be an increase of power here on line four to six. Now, you have to ensure under this condition, line four to six is still able to supply more power to uh, compensate a line that's just been put out of service. And obviously, that situation will be beneficial for this transformer T3 because it will reduce the loading on it. So let's go ahead and put this line out of service. So I'm going to double click on it and there will be an option here out of service. So we're just going to tick it. OK, and then we click OK. So let's execute the load flow analysis again. And as you can see here, the line is completely out of service. There is no more power flow. And since we still need to supply 93 megawatt to load 6, now there has been an increase in the power supply on line 4 to 6. As you can see now, we're supplying about 93 megawatt. And at the same instance, we can see that transformer T3, the loading have dropped to 121 from 131. So this is just a simple example of putting one line out to service but yet still being able to supply your load from different area of your network. Now in Dixile and Power Factory, you are able to model your transformer, right? You can model your transformers according to the transformer nameplate of your choice that you want to model. You can model the short circuit and the per unit impedance. You can model generators, bus bars, and line and so forth. So there is a great deal of uh, modeling that you can do with Dick Silent Power Factory. And also, in addition to the grid code compliance, Power Factory support economic dispatch and optimal power flow, where you can minimize generation cost while meeting load demands and maintaining the system constraint. And for those who need more flexibility, Power Factory supports scripting and automation. You, you can use your Python or DPL scripting to run uh, custom simulations, automate repetitive tasks, or analyze complex data set. This flexibility basically means that you can use Python script or DPL scripting to basically run custom simulations, automate repetitive tasks to basically analyze complex data set. So we're going to end this introduction to Dick Silent Power Factory. So if you are ready to take your power system analysis to the next level, this software is basically the perfect place for you to start. So thank you for watching. If you found it useful, please make sure you give a thumbs up and subscribe to SimTech channel. That will be highly appreciated. Until next time, cheers.